Here's another super spicy one. Do you think 40 is too old to kick off a career in software development? Think again. Today, we're busting myths, sharing real stories, and laying out a roadmap to prove that age really is just a number in the tech world. Stick around. Here's the truth. Your experience, perspective, and determination could be exactly what sets you apart. By the end of this video, you'll see why starting your own journey as a software developer at 40 or beyond might just be the smartest empowering move you'll ever make. Let's start with the elephant in the room, ageism in tech. Even if you're as young as 30, and yes, the industry can lean toward younger workers, but here's, here's the truth. Your experience, wisdom, and resilience aren't just advantages. They're your greatest strengths. Companies need problem solvers and communicators, not just fast coders. Plus, tech thrives on innovation, and diverse perspectives like yours fuel exactly that. Imagine blending your life experience with cutting-edge technology. That's a winning formula. But don't just take my word for it. Let's imagine how this could look for someone like you. So picture this. Let's say you're 45 years old, working a job that feels uninspiring, and you've always been curious about technology, but you were too old to make a change. One day, you decide to take a small step learning Python through free online tutorials after work. I mean, it's challenging at first. There are moments where, where you question if it's even worth it. But you stick with it, making steady progress. Within a year, you've built a small portfolio, landed a small internship, and, and secured a full-time role as a back-end developer. Why back-end development? Well, it's a great fit for someone with analytical mindset who enjoys solving puzzles and working behind the scenes. If you're more visually creative, UI, UX, or front-end development might be your path. The beauty of tech is that there's always something for everyone. And then you fast forward and you're not just coding. You're doing work that fires you up every single day. Maybe you're a technology leader, managing teams, driving big ideas and, and helping others grow. This isn't just about a career shift. It's about rediscovering your passion and proving it's never too late to start fresh. And here's the best part. Tech has a path for everyone. Love solving complex problems? You could become a technical expert mastering fields like data science, DevOps, or software architecture. Got a creative streak? You might strive in product design or UI, UX, shaping tools and apps people love to use. And if you've got an entrepreneurial spark, why not turn your ideas into reality with your own tech business? Whatever direction you take, the journey is about blending your experience, passion, and skills to create something exciting and meaningful. Start small, take the first step, and let the opportunities unfold. You've got this. Maybe you're thinking, will I have enough time? Can I afford this change? Will I even fit in? These are valid concerns, but here's the good news. There are flexible, affordable learning options, and tech values people who bring in fresh perspectives. So what's stopping you from taking that first step? Start small, explore free code camp or code academy, or dive into a beginner friendly Python course on YouTube. Every big journey starts with a single step and yours could start today. Let's take a moment to think about what brought you here. Maybe it's the promise of work flexibility where you can finally ditch the nine to five and design a schedule that fits your life. Or maybe it's the pay and benefits which offer more than what, you can, uh, what your current role can give you. Better financial stability, room to grow, and even perks like remote work. But it's not just about the practical stuff. Deep down, there's something bigger. You've realized that software development could give you promising career while, while still allowing time for what matters most. Your family, your passions, your future. And let's be honest. Something inside you clicked. Maybe you stumbled across a coding video, tried out beginner's course, 
or heard about someone making the leap and suddenly you're excited. You found a spark, a passion for problem solving and creating things with code. That's powerful. That's the kind of motivation that keeps you going even when things get tough. Did you know your current skills might already make you an ideal software developer? Leadership for managing teams, problem solving from operations, or creativity for marketing. These are all incredibly valuable in tech. Imagine you've spent years in a role like teaching. The ability to manage a classroom, break down uh, complex ideas, and keep everything organized translates perfectly into project management and collaboration in a software dev team. Those skills don't disappear. They evolve, becoming your competitive edge in the tech world. Your background isn't a limitation. It's a strength that sets you apart and positions you to excel in software development. What unique skills will you bring to the table? One key to success is targeting a specific role and skill set. Transitioning into tech doesn't mean you have to know it all. Nobody does. For example, instead of, uh, instead of diving into the broad world of full stack development, consider narrowing your focus. Are you more visual? Explore UI or front end development. I mean, if you prefer logic and structure, specialize in the back end or server side roles. This approach allows you to build depth in a manageable area and stand out to employers. Employers looking for expertise in specific niches. But here's the best part. Whether you focus on UI or backend, the opportunities to learn the full stack will always be there. On the job, you'll encounter real-world challenges that expand your skill set naturally, and in your own time, you can dive deeper into areas that excite you. What's crucial is getting your foot in the door. And once you're in, the potential to grow is virtually limitless. Let's start with the basics. To succeed as a software developer, you need to master three essential skills. Coding, problem solving, and communication. But here's the kicker. Coding is just one piece of the puzzle. Companies want developers who can balance all three. If you're already great at, at solving problems or explaining complex ideas, you've got a head start. Learning to code is like picking up a new language. It's not just about Memorizing syntax, it's about practicing and applying concepts. I mean, start with the basics. Algorithm and data structures are your grammar. I mean, build small projects like a, a to-do list app in Python or, or a portfolio website with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. When you're ready, tackle uh, real-world problems with platforms like Lead Code or Free Code Camp and dive into frameworks like React, or backend tools like Node.js, Java, or .NET. Every project you create and every problem you solve is another step closer to becoming a confident developer. Coding is fundamentally about solving problems. And chances are you already have this skill from your previous jobs, whether it's troubleshooting, analyzing data, or, or thinking outside the box. To sharpen this further, take on coding challenges on sites like HackerRank or Code Wars. Think of it as a workout for your problem-solving muscle. Writing great code is one thing. Explaining it is clearly another. Uh, developers often need to collaborate with teammates, communicate with stakeholders, or, or simplify technical ideas for non-technical audiences. If you've worked on teams, given presentation, or written reports, you've already got a foundation. Build on it by practicing clear documentation, collaborating with others, and break down complex concepts into plain language. One situation where communication skill will definitely help you out is during an interview process. There has been so many times when I conducted interviews that after a coding problem, I would ask the candidate to explain their code to me as if I didn't know how to code. So definitely this is a plus. This skill is something that you need to take seriously. The beauty of this journey, you don't have to master everything at once. Small consistent progress 
in these areas will set you up for long-term success. While coding, problem solving, and communication form the foundation of your success, the rest of the skills you need will come naturally as you gain experience. On the job, you'll learn how to apply design patterns effectively, organize code for flexibility, and adapt best practices for maintaining efficient, readable code. You'll also pick up uh, team-specific workflows, tools, and methodologies to enhance collaboration and, and productivity. The key is to get started and focus on the essentials first. Once you got your foot in the door, every project, every line of code, and every challenge you tackle will add to your skill set. Remember, software development is a journey of continuous growth, and your ability to adapt and learn will be your greatest asset. So take that first step. Start small, stay consistent, and don't let anything hold you back. And the rest, you'll learn it along the way. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. Staying up to date with fast moving technologies can be daunting. And yes, the thought of entering a classroom or, or even a boot camp might feel intimidating. But, but guess what? Lifelong learning is a muscle and you're more equipped to flex it than you think. Start small, pick a language like Python, enroll in an online course, and build your skills incrementally, or maybe let your target developer job determine the language you need to focus on. If you're aiming for web development, uh, JavaScript or TypeScript might be your go-to. Want to dive into data science? Python's got you covered. Choosing the right language based on your career goals is a game changer. Chances are curiosity sparked your interest in tech, and that curiosity is your secret weapon. It's what got you started, and it's what will keep you moving forward. Embrace that excitement. Use it to explore new concepts, experiment with projects, and, and keep learning. Remember, every small step adds up, and before you know it, you'll be debugging complex code or building applications you once thought were out of reach. And here's a fun idea. Let's coin a new term. Curiosity Driven Development, or CDD. Think of it as a mindset where, where you let your curiosity guide you, turning every question and challenge into an, into an opportunity to grow. By leaning into CDD, you'll find learning to be an, an exciting adventure rather than a chore. And hey, did we just create a new acronym? That's the beauty of tech. You get to innovate every step of the way. And once you've uh, built your skills, it's time to start thinking about how to stand out in the tech industry. Highlighting your unique experiences and strengths will be the key to landing the right job. While I won't dive into that here, there are plenty of great resources. We've got articles, podcasts, and videos that can help you build a strong portfolio, network effectively, and prepare for interviews. And who knows, I might tackle this topic in a future video, so stay tuned. So is 40 too old to be a software developer? No damn way. Tech is changing fast, and it's more open than ever to diverse voices and fresh perspectives. Sure, I mean, the journey takes effort and grit, but it's also an adventure, one that can totally redefine your career and maybe even your life. If this video got you fired up, hit that like button, subscribe for more tips and motivation, and drop a comment below. What's holding you back from taking that first step? Let's talk about it, and you've got this, and I'll see you next time.